Hey guys, it's me, Daniel. Yep, that character is me. And this is Minecraft, uh, a game I decided to give a try recently because um, I've heard a lot about it. I've, I've also watched a lot of Minecraft games on YouTube and I decided, you know what, um, now that my school is about to end and, you know, um, I'm, I'm busy with Tech 65 stuff, a lot, of course, uh, filming lots of content, but, you know, decided, hey, you know, when I take a break, maybe I could give this a try, you know? Um, something to just exercise my creative juices a little bit. Not that Crit Tech 65 doesn't, but you know. And uh, in case you don't know what Minecraft is, it's it's basically this um, sandbox game. So um, you in this game you can break anything that you see in this world, every single piece. That's why everything looks so blocky. So I could take this, uh, you know, this piece of le uh, you know soil here and break it up and you know build stuff you know, in, in any shape or form. And it's also a resource management game. So basically, you you can craft different materials um, using a crafting table, using a combination of different materials, different patterns, and to make other kinds of materials and weapons and stuff like that. So you gotta start finding resources. You start with zero and then you go digging out through these kind of caverns, for example. And you know, here's one and you can see here, this is a gold, uh, iron ore, I'm sorry, and um, I should mark this place so that I remember it and come back to dig because this place looks like it's got lots of nice resources that I could use later. Anyway, um, I decided to show you guys a little bit of what I've done so far with Minecraft and um, so apart from mining, I've also built, decided to build a house and uh, rather than, you know, building a nice house, I decided to make a house out of a rock, mainly because I came across this really cool epic looking rock. That's right, that's my house. So I decided to, you know what, instead of uh, building a house, I decided to make it out of rock. Partly also because it's sort of easier, you know, you don't really need resources. Just needs to keep, oh look at that, the sunset. Just needs to keep, you just need to keep, um, you know, uh, mining things out. And after this I've caught tons and tons of rocks. So this is my six story house. I'm just going to show you, I'm very proud of it. And sun is setting so I'm just going to run right upstairs to show you um, you know, what kind of view this epic looking house gives you. And look at that. Oh, really nice sunset. It's really funny that every, everything's just made of square, so even the sun is this gigantic square blob. So, anyway, um, this is my house. This is the, the room that I'm most proud of. This is at the fifth floor, and you can see I've got this really nice. Uh, looking glass here, huge windows, and one of the, the things that I decided to do is that because I wanted this to really look as much as a rock as possible, um, you know, I didn't, every single, I tried to maintain the shape, the natural shape of the, the mountain itself to make it look as natural as possible, if, even after it becomes a house, and um, every rock or any piece of soil or block that I re I got rid of by accident, you know, that that is on the outer shell, I would replace it back. So that's what I did, even with the windows and stuff like that, they kind of maintain the shape. Uh, the only exception is over here, there used to be a lot more rock here, but I kind of, you know, uh, knocked them out so that I can see the sunset, yeah. So this is my fifth floor, and I discovered this, this place actually used to be a cave on the top of um, the mountain itself, so I, I thought, wow, look at that, it, it, it looks really beautiful, um, you know, great view, and uh, after replacing it with glass, it looks even better, which is really nice, and it came with this one as well, which is kind of a smaller floor below it, so I decided to build another floor, it's kind of dark here, so I'm just going to prop this uh, light here, and yeah, everything's kind of empty right now, because I just finished it, and I just started the game, so I got I don't have much things to put around, but you know, look at that, I'm walking on glass, you can see what's going on downstairs. At night, lots of creatures come out, and they try and, you know, steal your resources, but you know, I'm safe in this mountain house. So this is my fifth floor, with my fourth floor here, and one of the things that I did by accident uh, when I was designing the stairs, I didn't really think it through that much, because, you know, it's, just, it's, it's at night, and I, I didn't have much time to play, and one of the problems I had was that, you know, the staircase uh, avoid is not designed for you to access the even number floors, like this one right here, so I, I can't actually knock out this, this rock, because when I do, um, there's nothing behind it for me to build around it and I wanted to maintain a shape I didn't want to cheat by you know like just kind of making artificial floors and stuff like that so you know I kind of patched it back up so that was my fourth floor and um, fifth floor this is my fourth floor um, this is my third floor 
and um, one of the things I found in front of this house is a natural waterfall. It's quite amazing. That I, I didn't make this waterfall. The waterfall was just there, and um, I replaced the back of the waterfall with glass so you can see through the the water, which is really nice. And um, you know, I this this place used to just kind of stop right here, and I just hollowed out one strip of blocks and replaced them with glass so I can see everything and have natural lighting, which is something I like. And uh, I've got another floor down here. And um, so you can see the uh, this is an even number floor. You can see the waterfall glass, and this is the first floor, which is quite big because I this is where I'm gonna be putting a lot of stuff. Uh, my bed is still on the first floor, and um, I plan to turn this part into some sort of farm. You know, maybe herd some you know sheep so that I can get wool, and maybe put build a kitchen for me to make food. And speaking of food, I need food right now. Do I've got food? Yeah, I've got pork chop. So let me just eat that, and um, yeah, that's pretty much um the, my my house. And I got something I want to show you. Oh yes, I forgot to show you the top floor. You know, I, I skipped the top floor. So let me just go right upstairs. And um, so let me just do do do. And here is my top floor. So um, I couldn't build a floor here because I'm on one block less. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna go straight into the ceiling which I did and I have this really epic watch tower I kind of flattened the top a little bit and hollowed it out but apart from that everything else is just you know natural the tree used to be here, was here all along and the, all these rocks used to be here just kind of made a little groove so that I can walk around without accidentally falling down look at that you can see uh, zombies that's probably is that a zombie yeah that's a zombie that's kind of walking around in the middle of the night and um, yeah, it's really nice. And let me show you another cool thing I did. So like I said, this is a six story house. So it's kind of tedious to go up and down, up and down, up and down. And I'm going to be spending a lot of time downstairs because that's, um, you know, that's where I'm going to be putting a lot of my things. And, you know, before I go mining and stuff like that. So I decided to find a solution to get me up and down or maybe down actually the building quickly. So I made this tube. And so if I want to travel downstairs, all I need to do is just kind of jump right through. Whee! And then basically I get cushioned by this two, level, two block deep water. It's a tiny swimming pool. And uh, yeah, which cushions my fall so I do not get any damage when I fall down at such a height. And ta-da! I'm on the first floor. Cool, huh? So let me just go to sleep right now so that I can change the time from night to day and show you a little bit of of um, the outside of the house, so ta-da! Got lots of uh, natural lighting on the first floor right here, so lots of uh, holes with glass patched in, so which makes it really nice so I can see what, what time of the day is it when I'm working downstairs. Probably gonna build a kitchen as well, you know, to make more of these pork chops and cakes and food to last me for the day because your, your hunger goes down as time passes and that affects your health. Anyway, so this is this glass tube where you fall down from which is really cool and I'm really proud of it. Yeah, epic. And um, I've got a front door right here as well. Just, and um, yeah, this is my Minecraft house, which I'm really proud of. Apparently there aren't a lot of my friends playing Minecraft. In fact, I haven't found any of my friends playing Minecraft just yet. So um, that makes me kind of lonely. The only company I have are the pigs and stuff like that. So. Um, if, if you play Minecraft and you know me personally, let me know, you know, we could maybe play together or something. I have actually have a Minecraft server, Ooh, spider. Anyway, this is one of the uh, earlier huts that I kind of built, temporary huts that I built to mine resources from this cave um, so that I can get stuff from the cave and I could come back and drop things and sleep there each time. And um, I was very fortunate to be spawned in this snowy ground not a lot of trees but um, at least it's cool looking because you don't get snow that often take that you spider and of my experience unfortunately the fella didn't drop any string anyway yeah that's minecraft and this is my six story epic looking house Hope you enjoyed it. Whoops, dropped into a hole that I made myself. See all these sand here. That used to, this place used to be filled with sand, and I kind of uh, dug out all the sand to make the glass. So you know, took the took the sand and uh, every single because you know it's kind of expensive. Um, 
one block of sand only makes one block of glass. So that's kind of... Anyway, yeah, that's it. I've spoken too much. If you play Minecraft, let me know. If you don't, you should. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm Daniel. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.